make sure that you try these supplements out. They're very, very good, very healthy, natural, and um, you can check the link in the description box. That is Nature's Blend Black Seed Oil. Uh, uh, brother, is that good for breastfeeding? <laughs> A peace of Christ to all of you. Today we are going to expose this big fat liar who is very trashy and very low class, savage, street boy. He made a video, and you see, this is how they, they try. They could not refute me. They don't dare to debate me. And look what they say. Christian apologists sexually harassed a Muslim woman. Now we will see who is the one harassing who. It was your sister harassing me, you coward. And this was in a public debate live on air. She is the one who started talking about sex. And she said something very ugly. And I will make you hear it. And everybody will listen to it. And everybody will spit on your face. You have no dignity. Go. And they have other things as well. Yeah, oh. buy it, buy it. <laughs> Put your hand away, little boy. Boy, boy. <laughs> yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Yes, so. you the okay, point. continue, continue, continue. I cannot wait for my breastfeeding. You promise me. Everybody is a witness. Okay. okay. What's mean dignity? It's mean you don't give me your boobs. <gasps> okay, that's good. You don't take off your panty. And you know what? Even if you are the only women in the world, I will not do breastfeeding for when you from you come back. You Muslim women are full of AIDS. And now I want you to focus with me. We arrived to the Mota. See the cowards? First of all, this is not the, you know, this is a long conversation. They cut, paste, and they make a duct tape. Now we have, look at his face. Now I will make your face bigger when you hear your sister what she said. It was your sister who was speaking about sex. I was answering her. And not only that, you will not believe what she said. Filthy coward. I was reading, as you see here, and I said to her, I will never do that to you. Your mouth is open, right? Did you hear me saying, I will never do that to you? Because I was reading what your prophet said. I like how you look at this face. Look at this. But your face will get bigger when you, everybody hear what your sister said. Liar. Shame on you. Why you don't play the whole thing? Huh? Christian prince, when he read about Islam, he say the word penis, he say the word panty, because this is what your prophet teaching. So you cut words and you put them together to make a video to make me look bad. Shame on you. Everybody will laugh at you in a second because we have the original video. Here we go. Let us see who is the one who speak about sex. Listen carefully. This is your sister. She called me. And this is how the conversation started. And this is the name of the, uh, the, the video. Anyone can search for it. Halal for, for a woman to breastfeeding growing up man. Practice muta prostitution, Christian prince. Anyone can search it. It's all over the internet. And actually, I encourage every Christian to download this video with this title and the video I'm making right now and spread it all over. Listen to what this decent Muslim woman, she said. I don't, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, like I don't kiss anything. Show me where, where you she said, why you kiss the cross. Why well, the Christian? Abdullah, Abdullah, listen. Can you kiss the black stone or not? Can, can you kiss the black stone for me? When, when the next time you will go to Hajj? I want you to kiss the black stone for me. Oh, you want to, to bring this? Okay, why you why you kiss the cross? Show me where. You, show me where it says in the Bible, kiss the cross. No, no, show me, you, show me. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. I don't kiss anything. Show me where. Why, you why you're a prophet? No, you why you're a prophet? The pagan prophet. Why? You See, I'm talking about kissing a black stone, nothing about sex. And look who start talking about sex. Listen carefully to the decent women harassing a Muslim decent women. Look. Your pagan prophet kiss a stone. Your prophet is a pagan man. Why he kiss a stone? Why he kiss a stone? Why? Oh, the Holy Spirit, the God in the heavens. I know, I know all this. Okay, I live in Arabia. I live in Africa. You know, you know where? You know, where, you, know, you know what? You know what? Why you kiss, Why your prophet kiss the black stone? He's a pagan. You are a pagan. Oh, did you kiss a stone what or not? Did you, did you did you kiss who a stone? Created, who, created the Holy Spirit? who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create stones. He created the whole world. But you must no, kiss. No, you no, must no. kiss his stones, right? Why? Why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? 
Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Boops? You must be okay. You see, you see guys, you see guys, you see guys, you see how you see how savage they are. Look what she said. Oh no, look what she said. Look what she said. Like Do you see you filthy coward potato? How is your mouth now? Why you did not play the, the tape? It was your decent sister speaking falsely and not only falsely disgusting way, saying that your prophet Isa. He was a plane with Mary boobs and that did not offend you. You watch the video and you claim that I am the one is harassing the Muslim women. I was talking about kissing black stone. I never said anything about sex. It's your decent sister. And did you hear what she said? Let me make it here clear for you because uh, your mouth is open and maybe your ears is blocked. Let's go back a little bit. Ah, he play with his so, mother poops. Tell me why he's doing the black stone. Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more actually. Worse, actually, ah, he play with his so, mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother. What? Boops? You must be okay. You see, you see, guys, you see, guys, you see, guys, you see how you see how savage they are. Look what she said. Oh, no, look what she said. Look what she not said. Like you. Okay, okay, show me, show me, okay, show me a verse, show me a verse, show me a verse saying that Jesus he played with his mother. Show me his verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus, he play. Listen, listen, you are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say Jesus, he play with his mother boobs, right? Okay, you, you listen, you are a liar, number one. Number two, it's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suckle you? Okay, let's read the hadith. See how I said, can I suckle you, you coward, you cut it? She is the one who started talking about boobs, and I was reading to her what her prophet said. You are a coward, son of a muta, Mr. Hijab. And by the way, the muta is a tradition. And uh, in, in the last time we spoke, he called me bastard. By the way, your prophet is the one who was born four years after his father's death. So you tell me who is the bastard. Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle? Can I? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Listen, 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 listen. According to Islam, according to Islam, your boobs is lawful for me. Can I suckle you? Listen. See you, coward. I am harassing her. You coward. She is. She is an adult, and she is a filthy woman with low dignity. She was the one talking about playing with boobs. A woman who respect herself, she will not say that. So I was giving her from your book, from your stupid prophet, what he said, that a woman, she can give her boobs to an adult. And I'm an adult. I'm asking her question. And you would pray in the video, I say it clearly. I will never do that. Even if you do it to me. Even if you offer it. In your video, you coward. As long as you are talking about boobs and no, you are a savage, no class person, why you're a prophet? Let, let, let us read together. Let us read together. Sahla bin to Suhail. Sahla bin to Suhail. Let me let me let me mute. Let me let me mute you. You are you are so dumb. Listen, guys, look at this. Sahla bin to Suhail came to the messenger of Allah and said, "I see a displeasure in the face of Abu Hudayfa when Salim enters upon me." The messenger he said, "Breastfeed him." She said, how I can breastfeed him and he is a growing <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hijab, you are very funny. You could not, you could not refute me. You cannot debate me. You don't dare even to speak to me. And you start doing personal slander. Uh, you know, my friend, uh, people are laughing at you. And not only laughing, I mean, people will not even listen to you anymore. It's a shame. And not only that, actually, I just saw a post, and we will make a video about it soon, of you saying the following about apostate prophet. And I will make a video about your prophet teaching incest, you coward. 
Look at the street. Look how look how filthy, and they try to make it personal to put you down because you are attacking Islam. Why would this incest endorsing Islamophobe, who may be attempting to sexual lure his sister, as we speak? You imagine, imagine how filthy, how filthy, disgusting they are. Just because this poor guy, apostate prophet, he's an ex-Muslim. Just because he speak against Islam, look, look how, look how filthy, dirty they are. The fact it's your prophet who did teach incest, and he did incest. He had sex with his own daughter-in-law, and he flirted with her even before he married her, according to Muslim books. But I'm sure he was sleeping with the women before. And even there's a verse in the Quran about it. Allah saying to him, why you hide what is in your heart for her? <laughs> and not only that, if we go to chapter 25, verse number 52, we will see your prophet teaching about incest. And we read the interpretation. It says that having sex with the daughter from adultery is lawful. Because she is not considered as a daughter according to Islam. This is your religion, and I will make a video about it soon. It's not the apostate prophet teaching that you coward. Now, as long as you are going down, you see, we don't go down to your level. We will let the Muslims go down to your level. This is your brother Shamsi. Saying the greatest stuff about you. The video is a little bit long, so I'm not going to play it all. All of it, it's a bad thing, disgusting thing about you. Give him a tawfiq for a guy to, to and a hidayah, and all of us. First one, he went to Reading, okay? So when he went to Reading, he spoke to people about an issue that he tried to accuse spouse of. Naam? There's a brothers in, in uh, a Salafi brothers in Reading. Naam? So there was an issue between them and other brothers about taking the money and so on. From the prevent money, so Muhammad Hijab, he stopped becoming a daddy. He became now de detective Colombo. Okay, he now he became detective Colombo. He wants to do. He become journalist. He become dispatches. If you remember dispatches, Channel Four. Remember. So he went to Reading. He spoke to one guy. Okay, so he spoke to him about yeah they take money and they are with spabs and everything. So any old spabs, spabs has to be uh, responsible for it. Okay, so now guess what? So I said to Muhammad Hijab, I want something. Again, look, my brothers and sisters, to show you out there, I'm not the first person to start this fitna. I don't go out there and speak openly in the cameras. Privately, I, again, I said, Akhi, look, the brothers out there, they sent me a letter from the council, and the council, they were happy how the money was spent, okay? So I sent it to him. So I said to him, Muhammad, if you went to Reading because you want to defend the council, the council are happy how the money being spent. If you went to Reading to defend the Muslims there, then those, the money... It was not taken from the Muslims. It was not from the da'wa money. It was given to them by the prevent money. And the prevent money, they give it to you to have the youth, Muslims or the non-Muslims from uh, do like uh, activities for them to stay away from the road or from extremism. Okay? So, you know, he said, give me a receipt. He said, brother, hold on. What about you? Why are you going to show people a receipt of 250,000 pounds that's been raised for Salam? But anyway, I will show you now, my brothers and sisters, the uh, letter that was given to those brothers from the council and they said the money they were happy how the money was spent they are fighting now over money exposing each other and not only that just wait more to come that's the first one Se secondly and now Muhammad Hijab, it seems like he has a problem for people taking prevent money, okay? Anyone that's taking prevent money, we have to do investigation on him, okay? We have to check him. Guess what? SubhanAllah, how Allah quickly exposed this person. Muhammad Hijab, afterward, as he mentioned, he was on a mission, trying to tarnish the name of our brothers, Malah bless them and preserve them and reward them for their good deeds. That's pubs. He's bringing anyone and gets pubs. Anyone. Even if himself differ with him. So he brought his brother, Abdul Habbaka. Abdul Habbaka, he brought him. Guess what? Abdul Habbaka, even this tech theory guy online, he said something funny. 
He said, Abdul Haq Baker is a prevent money before prevent came to existence. He himself is a prevent. Nah? But he said other things which I don't agree with him is battle to call the person careful. I don't agree with that at all. But Muhammad Hijab, my brother, I'm gonna bless you and give you tawfiq. You seem like you become Detective Colombo. But you had another person with you and you promote him in your channel. He's been taking, or he, the prevent money has been given him 300,000 pounds yearly. And when they stopped, he was crying. And he was complaining, not crying literally, but that's what they say, according to the, to the articles and the newspaper. He seems, uh, he, he was complaining, okay? So my brother Muhammad, how come you have not that investigation on him? Do you know why my brothers and sisters? Because he's not spouse. Also, the second conditions for Muhammad to accept your action, you have to be against spabs and you have to have you have to be free from spabs, not just against them. You have to be free, you have to be not with them, and you have to refute them in order for you, Muhammad to welcome you and to promote to the whole world. That's the first one. So Abdul Habib, you know, investigation, investigation on him, three thousand pounds yearly. Where is the money gone, bro? I mean, this is not my problem, but I'm just saying it for the sake of argument. Muhammad, big job now for you, Detective Colombo. Big job, 300,000 pounds. Not 16,000 pounds, 300,000 pounds, brother. Imagine. Big job this one, and we'll give you more time to do investigation, you know? But it's not spabs, do whatever you like to do. Now, we will show you the articles from uh, the newspaper, which Muhammad Hijab tried to use Angus, our brothers, same thing, but I'm sure the double standard, which this brother, Abdul Baker, they're saying about him, that he was taking money for prevent. Thirdly, now, why he brought Abdul Haq Baker? Abdul Haq Baker, he, he never brought him to speak about prevent money because he himself talked prevent money. Now, he's trying to say the brothers are... Okay, okay, we got it. This is the same what happened in the Quran where, where the, the, the companion of Muhammad, they were asking Muhammad about a missing underwear. And then Allah, he sent the verse, says, It's not for a prophet to steal. So the Muslims, they were accusing each other of stealing. This is exactly what we see right now. But I'm not really interested in this. Uh, let us uh, move it a little bit, you know. Because this is about all money scandal. I'm not really interested. Maybe from here we go. And Mala give us Tawbah before we die, including our brother Muhammad. Someone called Abu Usama Dhabi. Yeah? And then he went with someone from Canada. So this person from Canada, he gave Muhammad a website. Muhammad Hijab promote that website in his channel. Guess what, my brothers and sisters, Mala bless you all. What? And Mala give us Husnul Khatima. What? And Mala give us Tawbah before we die, including our brother Muhammad. We make dua for him without any doubt. Mm -hmm. The same website, sisters, I don't know which website. Even Muhammad Hijabi says, he said, I don't, I don't know the website, but it's specialized. How do you know it's specialized if you don't know the website? But guess, Ikhwa, and he never knew. The same website, there is over 20 accusation, and guess Abu Usama Dhabi to be womanizer, to get married and divorce and to do other things. <laughs> you go to my mosque, I will suckle your breast. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is all Muslim talk. I not, not nothing of this. Not I'm just listening. I'm just laughing. <clears throat> mm, nice, very nice. Sisters are living in fear. You mean this guy? He is terrifying the sisters. Me. How sad. Secretly recorded labeling women, uh, okay, has been banned from breaching in the mosque. And he was promoted by, he was always promoted by hijab. And hijab, he take an interview with him. Shake hands. <laughs> so my brother Muhammad, what happened? You, you seem like you care about the Salafi sisters. Uh -huh. So what happened? What happened? No, you know why? Mm -hmm. Because Abu Usama is not spabs. Right. And he has not refuted Muhammad hijab correct refutation. Not to me. No, yeah, he, he has mistakes, like everyone's mistakes. No, no, he's still out. And this person is not for it. No, he's no one, no one established for it. Okay? And even so called shoes that he followed. No, anyway, so the point here is even the person from Canada that he promoted, if you go to his Instagram, this person he promotes sins openly. May Allah save his daughter, may Allah guide him oh and save his daughter. 
He's putting a video of his daughter dancing for music, for music. When he was uh, confronted for it, he said, oh, my family passed away, and excuses some, and himself doing other things, crazy things on Instagram. <laughs> Do you know why? why? Muhammad Hijab, remember, in order for Muhammad Hijab to accept your good deed, according to him, two conditions. Mm. First one, you be and guest spubs, mm. and you should not refute him. And you should refute spubs well. Three, maybe. Naham. Look where he is. And the taqwa Allah. Where is the, the, uh, the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you're doing? You doubt for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the clear show us Muhammad Hijab is not doing it for Allah. Disgusting. He's doing it to save himself. Disgusting. Because this way he was doing it clearly go and guess Quran. And I will finish this. Because also, I want to mention there is a video. Uh -oh. While you're debating, there is a sister with, I don't know, but I'm showing. The double standard, okay? The sister with Niqab, she's telling your friend, Naam Ali needs da'wah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what you did, you know what you did. What you did? What you did? How much? How much? I'll tell you what you are. So you have a personal problem. Personal problem? What about you? You think you know what you've done? No, no, no. You know what you've done. I'm lying. I'm lying. What about you? What about you? What about you? What about you? Accusing him of sexual... Oh boy, oh boy, live in public, recorded by the Muslims, cameras. What, what, what's happening? You know what you did, you know what you did? you are recording this brother why you are and the stupid idiot accusing us of being bad people look who is talking so if you read from islamic books you're a bad person if you say to almost Muslim women are you willing to do breastfeeding as your prophet said you're a disgusting person and if a woman a decent muslim woman she said to christian prince jesus he play with his mother boobs <laughs> she is a decent muslim please download the video share it with your friends it's not worth more of my time later we will be live on air and this is a christian prince was with you uh, enjoying why you record this why why you are recording this why I'm causing a scene. What have you I'm done? I'm causing a scene. You're not a liar. Okay, what have I done? You know what you've done. You don't need to play. It's Orlando. 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 In Allah heaven and his angels who is making versions waiting for you versions like this but maybe different size as the Quran said <laughs> thank you and God bless you all take care